All right, I'm gonna answer a common question that I, we get a lot is how do I preserve my fish for the taxidermist? Um, now there are a few things you want to do when you, you catch that fish that you want to uh, bring to the taxidermist. One thing, uh, ideally, um, is to get a picture of that fish right away to get the natural colors of the fish. After you catch a fish, a lot of times the colors will fade out. Uh, you don't want to put your fish in with other fish in the live well. You want to try to keep them separated. Um, and if you're not going to be able to bring it to the taxidermist right away, uh, the best way to save it um, is going to be to wrap it up in a wet towel and put it in the freezer. Now, once you do that, and if you do that properly, um, you should be able to um, keep that fish in your freezer for a couple months for sure. But ideally, you want to get it to the taxidermist sooner than later. So I have here uh, about a 17 inch largemouth bass that I'm going to be mounting. Uh, don't have to do it right now. I have my uh, wet towel here. Uh, it should cover the fish plenty. I soaked it and kind of uh, wringed it out a little bit so it's not absolutely dripping wet. But it's nice and uh, wet here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to lay the fish on here. Uh, a big thing you want to do is make sure the fins and the tail aren't sticking out funny or you're not folding them over. Make sure you don't, you know, fold this uh, pectoral fin over funny so it creases. When everything, try to be kind of laying flat, about as flat as you can. And all we're going to do is just fold that over and then, you know, you can do this however. But we'll fold this over as well. I'm not going to try to pinch the tail back here. So that's kind of nice and snug folded over. And this is ready to go in the freezer. Uh, like I said, you can keep this in the freezer for a couple of months. Uh, and then you can bring it to your taxidermist. Or if you're learning how to do this yourself, uh, like I kind of try to teach people, is you can save it in the freezer for later when you have time to do it. Um, and when you're ready to do it, you take it out, soak it in a pail of uh, water, and then wait for the fish to kind of thaw out a little bit, take it out, and then uh, follow the steps to uh, finish your fish. So, thanks for watching.